Every year, thousands of objects approach the Sun and our planet. Although 99% of these can be explained as space debris and other man-made objects, some of them aren't so easy to explain. A recent photograph shows what looks like a giant planet close to the Sun, with users putting forward possible theories for what this object is. Some who have spent time looking through Soho images have said this isn't the first time this thing has shown up, saying that whatever it is, it's huge. UFO believers think the object could be a giant unidentified flying object, while some have theorised that is a planet, although many disagree with this, and say that space agencies most definitely would have picked up on this. Most believers in the unknown have said that these objects are UFOs, and that every year hundreds of these crafts can be found close to the sun and the moon. One person said the following, It's hard to find out what this thing is because we don't have much to go by, but there's definitely something there. In some of the live videos you can see solar winds moving around these objects, telling us that it's hitting something and then being deflected. Perhaps it's natural, but either way it's strange. While another person said this, Although I don't believe in the majority of alleged crafts seen close to our sun, the ones that interact with solar rays are the most interesting, because they can't be explained away as things like space debris or camera anomalies. I've watched these cameras and also the cams from the International Space Station, and in my opinion the majority of these things are man-made, but this one seen close to the sun definitely isn't that. Firstly, this object is massive, and as I said it's definitely there because it's interacting with the sun's rays. I'd be interested to hear what NASA has to say. End quote. With the public having instant access to photographs from the International Space Station and the Sun, there's no shortage of these objects that some say is evidence of advanced life forms. Another object that believers say has been seen close to the Sun is that of a giant craft, going on to say that whatever this thing is, we have photographs of it firing beams into the Sun. Not everyone has got on board with the idea that giant UFOs are firing energy beams into the sun, but amateur researchers have said they've got photographs of this happening, and that, as of right now, NASA has failed to explain what these photographs show, with one amateur researcher saying the following, I've been looking through the Soho images for years now, and these are some of the most interesting anomalies that you'll see. We are only describing what we see in the images, and it does look like a giant craft is firing a beam of energy into the sun. Another object that sparked the interest of believers was that of a giant UFO that had four arms. They have said that this object has been seen flying around the sun at different times of the year, and has said it can't be a planet because it's moving too quickly, and it can't be a piece of space debris because it's too big. One user said the following, isn't it interesting that NASA always replies to the photos that are easy to explain? We know that this space above our Earth is filled with debris, but they never give us an answer for some of the strange objects that have been photographed. It's like they pick and choose which ones they want to answer. End quote. Interestingly, on the SOHO website, NASA did reply to some of these claims, with them saying the following... The most common sources of UFO claims are planets. These always look very strange in Lasco images, because they're so bright that the image blooms, and the CCD pixels bleed along the readout rows. Some people try to claim that they're flying sources, based on their appearance. I've also heard the claim that they're previously unknown Saturn-like planets, with rings around them, you can also see what I'm talking about on the Soho Hotshot page. Another one is cosmic rays. High energy particles from the solar wind, and the galaxy as a whole whip around the Soho spacecraft, and interact with the detectors. These produce spots and streaks on the detector ranging from a single pixel, to large streaks that span a large fraction of the image. These are most evident during a solar storm, as can be seen on the Hotshot page, but are always present at some level. I know that some people have claimed they've seen spacecraft looking things that seem to be moving around, but which are obviously cosmic rays when examined by experienced observers. 
people see a cosmic ray at one location in one image, and then another random cosmic ray hits the nearby next image, and they claim that both have the same thing moving between frames. Sometimes you'll see a cosmic ray seem to persist in the web images for two or more frames. This is because we lose a certain percent of the data coming down from the spacecraft. In Lasco, such losses appear as square blocks in the image. The software that puts the images on the web will fill in these blocks from the lost good image, and if there's a cosmic ray in that block from the previous image, it will appear in this image as well. The thing to check for is to look for the raw data files, which are also available on the web through the Soho catalog interface. Software glitches Occasionally we'll have some problems with the software which produce the images for the web, and strange artifacts will appear in the data. These glitches are usually corrected within a few days. In fact, we've had a couple of instances of that recently. End quote. NASA ended by saying that the space agency has never captured a UFO on camera, and has always been truthful about the objects in their photographs. As of right now though, amateur researchers have said they don't think these photographs show space debris, or things like camera anomalies. So what do you make of these claims? Do you agree with NASA that they're just normal objects? Or do you think that something else is being photographed? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.